Hey, yo, bro, welcome back to a new video on one of the best YouTube channels on the planet. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now, my guy, and drop a like. Today, we'll be reacting to the first ever flying car ever made, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I already know that they have technology, which is 50, 60 years, like, in front of our time, but they just don't release. But I'm pretty sure, like, this car was already made, like, back in the early 2000s probably in the 90s bro you know but they didn't they didn't want to release it yet you know what i'm saying so they already had this technology i know they had this technology to make flying cars they're just releasing it now you know what i'm saying because bro you wouldn't believe how much how, how much technology that they have which is advanced bro you know what i'm saying so today we'll be watching the first ever uh flying car so let's have a look boys let's check this out together wow Wait, what? Am I dreaming, bro? It's called the x Tang 2X. The car is literally flying. Did you see that, man? That's incredible. It just took off like that, bro. Wow. Shit, bro. Look at that. We got a good one today. Look at the wings. Like one here, one here, one here, one. So that two, four, six, eight. Eight little freaking things. Whoa, bro. That looks epic. But one thing, it doesn't have wheels, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you could say this is a helicopter, you know what I'm saying? But it's still a car. For it to be a car, it has to have wheels, my guy. But I, I like the car. Whoa, man, that's incredible. Let's go to the other side. Dude, what the hell? Right there. Press that button in. Yeah! My Not pizza! I'm out of here, dude. Just a second. I'm... I want to show you guys the outside. Whoa. Because. <laughs> just to make it easy, though, this actually flew up. Like, this exact one flew up in the air. This is going to be a prototype for the world's first ever flying car. Whoa. Yes. Now, that one looks more like a flying car, the one we just saw. And it looks freaking sick. I mean, look at those headlights. Super aggressive. Windshield is crazy long. It's got Whoa. Like, as well. But what you probably didn't see is under here. Dude. That little hidden button right there. Press that. This pops up. Whoa, dude. Once that's again, freaking amazing, bro. Point. It'll take about three hours to charge this thing. And once it's fully charged, you can fly it in the skies for up to 35 minutes. Oh, come on, my guy. Only 35 minutes for three hours. I understand, but guys, kind of, you should be able to fly for eight hours in the air, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Wait for one to fly from here to China, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. Three hours or four hours. That's all right still. You know what I'm saying? That's a start. I'm pretty sure they'll improve. They'll keep improving the battery life and all that stuff. All right, propellers. It's like this exposed kind of checkered carbon fiber. Whoa. This entire vehicle is fully carbon fiber. But they have it exposed in some areas amazing. like this, right? Everything Carbon else is painted. Fire. Here, you got green lights on the left side, and then you have red lights on the right side. Wow, that's basically dude, to avoid that's any freaking collisions awesome, in the air. man. So if you got like 10 people flying this, and you see someone else in the distance, it's important to understand which side the green is on to be able to avoid collision, right? It'll let other flyers know which direction you're flying. If now that cars are flying, they also have to care about like the underside of it, right? Yeah. Because it's gonna be flying over your head. You know, right now, cars, like, they make the outside look nice, but the inside looks terrible. You got all these tubes and pipes and rust and everything going on. Yeah. Now they got to make the underside look good. So this Where's right the here wheels? is going to turn into this, the world's first flying car. Yes, this is coming bro. Out in that 2024. looks freaking sick, dude. That looks like a Supra. And at the front, it kind of looks like a Tesla and a Beamer, bro. That's amazing, dude. Turn the back. What I like Whoa. is that, again, you have, like, this underside tail light. Whoa. You got some fins down there. <laughs> Some arrows. God damn, man. Like, it's almost like a rear diffuser. It's so strange. I wonder if this is the future of like uh, supercar body. We're going to have to start reviewing uh, flying cars. This is my first time ever reviewing a flying car. And uh, I got to get used to the names. Like, do you call that a rear diffuser? Do you call it arrows? Do you just call it fins? All right, expect. Ooh. Wow. I mean, What's that could have come up with a better name, my guy. But like I guess it's made in right China, here. right? So this would all make... fold up. They're going to make it whatever they want to. Make it more compact, easier to park, maybe. Maybe you're, you're going to park it in your balcony. I don't know. Wow, my God. Like. That's amazing, man. 
you have this like exposed collage like carbon fiber Oof. all in the cabin Yo, with the Alcatan fantastic. leather is it left hand or the right hand wow both hands and on the roof dude what ambient lighting just because it looks cool and futuristic but let's hop in bro look at that man the steering on both sides my like, guy that's that's freaking legendary bro that's amazing and there's also like a little ipad there in the middle man i don't know what that's for tight Wow, it's getting All right, in. so up here, we got like fighter jet style toggles. Ooh, so bro, I'll just play with that all day long. <laughs> uh, up here, you have the on and off button. Wow. Do not press this while flying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what, <if> the, <laughs> what if you're flying with like some niggas or like touching buttons? Camera, which then can be activated when you press this button. And then they just touch that off button while you're flying, and then you play just drops, man. You crash, man. I don't want to do that. God damn it. Just press this button. There you go. <laughs> wave to it. You got cameras on the inside, cameras on the outside. That's legendary. I understand bro. That's where you're at. Freaking amazing, man. And then uh, why don't you jump inside? Jump inside. Go to the other side. The door handles up here. Just pull that down. Oh. There it is. And we're in. This Ooh. is great. I cannot imagine flying in the sky in like. I don't know, just just like this, you know? It's so strange to not have any toggles, anything to move around in. You're just yeah. like an automated flight. God damn, bro, that's <laughs> you'd, a legend. You'd be like one kilometer in the air. It's pretty scary. I think a lot of people are going to get... Uh... God damn, bro, those little wings must be so strong to like lift that whole thing up, bro. Like, How did they design like the physics behind... Bro, the amount of work it would take. Oh my, bro, I just thought, bro, this is like revolutionary stuff. You know what I'm saying, bro? This is just amazing, man. I've been intimidated when these flying wow. cars are becoming the norm because it is pretty, pretty scary stuff. In the middle is your climate control, but right there you can press that, and then this will let you know information on your sensor, your battery, your motor, your flight time. Oof. A bunch of different options. If you wow. want to select your flight, just press start like that. <laughs> <laughs> select where you want to go 20 minutes away 23 minutes away as i said this thing will be able to fly for up to 35 minutes safely i asked him I was like what happens if you fly 36 you know, <laughs> it's just it's just go down he said no it's fine but 35 is like the safe amount of time that you should be flying so let's say you want to go to uh god damn man that's like half an hour man you know what i'm saying that should increase that man that should try to 10x that time to like freaking 30 hours or something like that Island Northwest. You press that. Nuts. They'll tell you how to get there. You press take off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine I press take off? <laughs> Just shoot straight into the roof. Both Zero, passengers have done. displays like that. That'll show you like your speed, your altitude, uh, different, I don't know, Woo. batteries, your engine. That's I something can't else, man. Well. Like imagine if you get like a check engine light <laughs> up in the sky, like panic. <laughs> I think the, the first yeah thing, man if that happens you better have parachutes in there man you know what I'm saying because I'm jumping now I'm gonna go fuck man even if I get hit by the wing I'm jumping now bro you know what I'm saying I'm jumping I'm not staying in there X-Pank's first flying car is coming out 2024 but I think it wow. will take a bit more time for people to get used to uh, the feeling of flying like something wait 2024 my god that's around the corner that's not even that far bro Sheesh. so so personal it's a bit it's a bit uh intimidating so what do you guys think would you buy it i mean uh when this thing comes out dude how much oh, first of all a little bit uh a little bit worried first of all i don't know man how much would that thing be my guy i'm pretty sure it'll be over 100 grand dude like not a lot of people can afford it i'm just being real i don't know unless it's a bring the price down to like 50 grand but god damn guys it's just go in the comment section below right now tell me what you think how much this thing is gonna be man because I'm just estimating it's gonna be hundred grand, between hundred grand and two hundred grand. That's my estimate, my guy, and uh, it's only gonna be available for the ultra rich anyway. I don't know. Maybe as it gets development, it'll go down. The price will go down, so like more people can afford it, man. So, bro, and if you enjoyed this video, man, make sure you subscribe right now. I love you, bro, and drop a like. The future is now. This is it, it's coming. Woof, bro, that was amazing. Look at that, man. Dude, that's amazing, man. Wow.
bro, I'm just blown away by how amazing that was, man. That was just Whew, man, um, I really hope you did enjoy, guys. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, man. Please, please subscribe right now and drop a like as well, man. Um, I love you all. I'll catch you all in the next video, baby. Peace.